Hey guys, this is Arnaud from Scale List. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export your leads from LinkedIn Search Navigator directly into a spreadsheet in one click under five minutes. For that, we're going to follow five steps. The first one is I want to show you what LinkedIn Search Navigator is and what are the benefits of using it when you are in sales, business development, or growth. Then we're going to build together a proper lead search using the Sales Navigator filters. And then the most important is how do you extract those leads out of LinkedIn Sales Navigator? So I'm going to show you the Chrome extension I'm using for that. We're going to, of course, explore the CSV that we have extracted with the data inside. And we will see where to push that data to, to reach our prospects. I'm so excited, so let's jump straight into it. So here we are into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, which is for me one of the most accurate um, database of prospects worldwide. So if you are in sales, business development or growth, but you're not using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, I really encourage you to start the free trial. It's for one month and at least you can have an understanding on how to use the platform and how it can benefit you. So we're going to explore the platform together. So this is the main dashboard of SalesNav. So you have the news, the alerts about accounts and people, and then you can also use it for prioritizing accounts and personas. But the most interesting is the lead filters. So the lead filters is a section where you can segment leads and companies to make sure that you are targeting the right people. So I have already prepared one lead search for the purpose of that video. So I want to target companies with a company account of 51 to 200. I want those companies to be headquartered in San Francisco. I exclusively want to focus off on head of sales. And as you can see, I added some quotes here, which helps me to only see head of sales in the job title of the person. And technically, I don't see appearing some profiles that I'm not interested to. Then I want those people to be based in North America and working in the software development industry. So now you're going to tell me, okay, that's awesome, Arno. We have 47 results, but how do we extract them from LinkedIn Sales Navigator? So for that, I use the Scale List Chrome extension. And for that, we also need to add it um, into our extension. And on done, we're going to have an export list button that will appear next to personas here, and we will be able to extract them. So to get the scale list extension, you simply go into your Chrome Web Store, write scale list in the search, and then you will see that information. You will be able to add it to Chrome. Add extension, and then we're going to even pin that scale list extension. Awesome. So now let's go back to our search. And after refreshing it, you can see that I have that button export leads from scale list that appear. I'm going to do something very simple. I'm going to click on that button to start extracting the leads. Up. And as you can see, scale list is extracting my leads. So here we are into scale list platform and you can see that we have our 47 leads from LinkedIn Test Navigator leads search. Then we have been able to get 25 valid emails out of the enrichment, as well as 31 phone numbers. So you can see them here. But now you're going to tell me, OK, I know how can I use that information in other platforms such as Lemlist or Smartly to be able to send cold emails to 
my prospects. For that, it's super simple. You just click on export leads here. And you can decide if you want to export all the leads or the leads that have exclusively valid emails. So for the purpose of that video, I'm going to extract all the leads. And you can see it's already extracted. So this is how my extract look like. So I have the LinkedIn URLs. So LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator URLs of the people. I have their specific information, the company, the country they are working in, as well as the emails and the phone numbers and the status of that phone numbers, if it's valid or not found, or it could be also risky, but in that case, we don't have any risky email. And when you add that CSV, for example, in uh, your Google workspace, you can see how it looks like and how easy it is to play with it. So it's the exact same information, but I just wanted to share with you how it looks like whenever you put it into uh, your Google workspace. So you can filter it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's it. Have a magic day today. And I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.